Hey, how's it going? Well, I tried to be very careful in the way that I worded my last political video, that really short one, regarding Trump. I tried to say that, you know, violence on either side is not right. Two wrongs don't make a right. I am not condoning the violence that we're seeing from some of the extremists on the left. I'm not condoning that. I do find it concerning that even when, like on Facebook and other social media, when I try to show people, well, yeah, there, there are people on the left that are doing a lot of violent things. There's a lot of looting, there's a lot of arson, there's a lot of destruction, there's a lot of vandalism. And it's not right. And usually people will try to deny that that's even going on. They'll say, oh, it's, it's just a two-block radius. And it's just like, no, there's, there's tons of footage showing that it's far more than a two-block radius of these different in these different cities. You know, there have been some cases where people have even went through residential neighborhoods. You know, how about the uh, wake up, motherfucker, wake up, right? I mean, and some of the comments that I've gotten are that, oh, well, uh, people have the right to burn everything down unless they get equity. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Do, do, do you realize what you're saying? You're saying that people should be able to act like terrorists unless they get what they want. And I'm just, I... And people will say, oh, well, uh... Uh, America was founded on violence, and violence is the only language that they know. And it's just like, you gotta be kidding me. So no matter what, people will defend what some of these people are doing. And if you push further it goes into many, you know, the, the critical theory. You know, and, and a lot of these different things that get taught uh, all kind of mesh together. There's, you know, gender theory, there's critical race theory, there's... And they all teach this notion that we should look at people for their group identity. And when I try to say, well, then that means that uh, individualism goes out the window. No, no, it doesn't have to go out the window. And I'm like, well, yeah, it does. If you, if you have to look at people for their group identity, then individualism is, is toast. You, you, can't, you can't have it both ways, you know? And, you know, I, I am on the left. I am more of a 90s liberal. Um, I agree with uh, the reasonable statements from Black Lives Matter, as I've said before, that, that police need reform. You know, we need to get rid of the bad police. We need better training. You know, our court system needs to be revamped. We need to get rid of pr uh, prisons for profit. Um, there's a whole lot of things that need to be done. But some of these new notions that, that are revolving around, you know, different critical theories... I just don't agree with it. The, people push this notion that... It, 
literally push the notion that unless unless you're on board with these critical theories, like critical race theory, unless you're on board with critical race theory, unless you're on board with the things that Robin DiAngelo says in her White Fragility book, that you're a white supremacist. You can be against racism. You can in no way think that one race is superior to another, but you're still considered a white supremacist unless you buy into these notions. It bothers me. It bothers me a lot because it's, it's essentially saying that unless you're on the far left, you're a white supremacist. Unless you're on the far left, you're a racist, you're a sexist, you're a misogynist, you're a homophobe, you're a transphobe. You must think of things this way. You must look at people's group identities as more important than who they are as individuals. And you must constantly fill your mind with Make you, you've got to make sure that nothing you say could possibly offend anyone from any of those groups. You must think about whether or not something you say or do could be considered a microaggression. You must change your thinking to this far-left ideological way or you're a terrible person. And I'm just like, you can't force the... First of all, you, you can't just declare that if, if anyone on the right is, is a terrible person. You can't just declare that. You can't force everyone on the right to become a far leftist. You can't do that. And in some ways, it seems more extreme than what I remember in the 1980s and the 1990s, what religious fundamentalists did. They certainly didn't say, oh, you have to become a, a right winger. You have to become a far right or you have to think like us. Sure, they said, oh, you need to, if you don't think like us, you're going to burn in hell for eternity. Okay, fine. But you could just say, well, I don't believe in hell. I don't believe in your God. I don't believe in Jesus. You could just say, I don't believe in that crap, so fuck you. But with this, you can't. With this... Unless you agree with all of this stuff, you can lose your job, you can lose your livelihood, you can lo lose your reputation. I don't, I don't know what's happening. I, I don't, I, I don't understand what's happening to this country. I don't understand how people can think that you can force people to become a far leftist under these, you know, in these new definitions. And, and they won't even consider themselves far left. People will say, there's no such thing as far left in the United States. You know, well, as far as, uh, as far as politicians that have power, sure. Sure, you're right. But HR departments have power. They have power over you. Mainstream media has power. Universities have power. But we're not... But we're apparently not supposed to look at that. Oh, that's not real power. That's not real power? Being able to ruin someone's life, utterly ruin someone's life, 
unless they agree with these critical theories, this, this, th these things where you, you, you have to constantly fill your mind with all this crap about, uh, uh, about, you know, whether or not you might offend someone, filling your mind with that is, is not considered oppressive. Oh, well, you just need to be empathetic. Well, I can be empathetic, but I don't have to fill my mind with that. Humans don't multitask. We don't multitask. And suddenly I think in my head, multipass from Fifth Element. No, we don't multitask. You know, we, we can think about, we can put, like... If there's something mundane that we're doing and we don't have to give it much thought, then yes, we can do that mundane thing while thinking about something else. You know, deeply about something else. But we can only deeply think about one thing at a time, really. That's just how we are. That's how humans are. And yet, we're supposed to fill our minds. We're supposed to have... We're supposed to... make our main CPU in our brains. We're supposed to put these tasks, all these tasks about not offending people. We're supposed to have that program running while still being able to function. I mean, how is that any different than what religion does to people? Oh, but we better not do something. It might be sinful. I'm just really concerned about what's happening here. You know, I, I can sympathize with people who are going to vote for Trump. I'm not going to vote for Trump, but I can sympathize with those that do. People are tired of this stuff that's being crammed down our throats. You must believe this way and express these things or you're a terrible person. We're going to ruin your life. We're going to ruin your reputation. We're going to, we're going to ruin your livelihood. And people can't reasonably talk about this stuff on the only platforms that are reasonable to, to I mean, on big tech. Big tech censors you if you veer from this sort of thing too much. You're censored. And yeah, there's there's alternatives, but I mean, I mean, look at what just happened recently. Google banned library, LBRY, from the Google Play Store. Why? for a bullshit reason. They said, oh, we don't like the thumbnail of this, this one video. It's too sexual in nature. It's like you allow other platforms to have, you know, thumbnails and content that are sexual in nature. You have hookup apps. But they're going to give that kind of bullshit reason to shut down a, a competitor to YouTube? That's bullshit. You know, and people are working hard to even shut down, you know, force hosting providers to shut down alternatives. There are people who have lost their ability to process credit card payments online because the things they said were considered too controversial. Now, in those cases, their, their views are pretty extreme. I'm certainly not going to condone those kinds of beliefs, but I, 
believe people should have the right to say them. So I'm not going to vote for Trump. I'm going to be voting for Biden. But I am pretty scared of what what could happen to this country if if Biden does get elected. Is this crap that we're all supposed to agree with going to become even more intrusive? Is it going to be ratcheted up even more? Pray to the altar of intersectionality? There are many, again, like I said at the beginning of this video, there are many valid things that need to be addressed in this country. There is a lot of inequality. There is a lot of uh, profiling by police. There's a lot of violence by police. There's a lot of corruption in police. There's corruption in the courts. There's definitely corruption in our, our uh, for-profit prisons. We need universal health care because the systems that we have let too many people uh, fall through the cracks. We need the, the public to be able to get educated more. We need free or reduced tuition colleges. Though if they're teaching some of the crap that's been so divisive, I don't know, but uh, there's, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be worked on. I, can even, I could even support, uh, you know, UBI, universal basic income. You know, there's, there's a lot of stuff that I support. There's a lot of stuff that I think needs to happen. A lot of the problems we have in this country, a lot of the crime, uh, just tons of things would mostly work themselves out if we actually gave a shit about the public, if the government showed they gave a shit about the public. That doesn't mean we all need to buy into the, these notions of looking at everyone for their group identities. As I've, I've stated many times before, okay, up until August 13th, 2013 at 8.50 p.m., through most of my adult life, I used to build these huge lists of what not to do. Things not to do, things not to say, things not to think about, uh, uh, things certain ways, so I wouldn't say and do certain things. Sometimes it got to as extreme as a don't say this word when looking in this direction. You know, you could almost say that the extremes that I would go to and the things that I would make sure I don't do, these lists that I would create, could almost be considered autistic in nature. And I'm not trying to say this as to, to degrade anyone who's autistic. I, I am on the spectrum, right? So... You know, I would constantly be thinking about, oh, uh, microaggressions. I didn't use that terminology, but that's what my mindset was like, you know. Don't offend anyone. Memorize all this stuff so you don't offend someone. And it made me a nervous wreck. The longer that time went on, the harder it was for me to communicate with people. The harder it was to really enjoy myself with other people. 
the harder it was for me to function. And so on August 13th, 2013 at 8.50 p.m., I had a realization. Well, it's a multifaceted realization. You know, first of all, I was able to dump this idea that there's some, you know, completely dump this idea that there's some higher power watching and judging everything that I do. I was able to drop the whole, uh, the, the, some of the negative leftovers from organized religion. I was able to get rid of that and realize that a lot of this inner dialogue that I have is indeed inner dialogue. I'm communicating with myself, so to speak, and not with some higher power judging me. And the other part was that all these lists that I would create of things not to do were stupid. They were, they were holding me back. You know, again, we don't multitask. And if you're, if all of your processing power is going towards all of these lists and all of these things that you shouldn't do, yeah, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to inhibit your, your ability to function. So, yeah, I, I, on August 13th, I was finally able to, to be free of that stuff. And yet, here's all this critical theory coming into place, telling us that, no, 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 you need to fill your mind with all of this stuff. Fill your mind with all these things that you shouldn't do. Make sure you don't do a microaggression. Make sure you don't offend someone. And I'm just like, oh, hell no. No, I'm not going to fill my mind with that shit. I mean, that's a way to... That's a, definitely a way to reduce productivity. But apparently workplaces, everyone's supposed to be that in the workplace. Everyone's scared of, scared of offending someone. Scared of offending this group or that group. Memorize these groups. Memorize everything about these different groups. And that's supposed to be some sort of improvement. That's how we're supposed to improve society by filling people's minds with things that make them unable to function very well? And it's the notion that individualism is bad. Don't just look at everyone as individuals. Look at people for their group identities. I know I keep repeating myself, but that whole mindset of forcing everyone to look at everyone for their group identities, that is a left-wing thing. That is a far-left ideal and idea and ideology. That is far-left. There's no getting around it. You can't say, oh, it's not political. Yes, it is. It is far left. Those are far left ideas. And the, the, these attempts are basically trying to emotionally blackmail everyone into pretending that they're far left. How is that any different then in the 1980s, people having to pretend that they're Christian. How is that any different? I, again, I, I, I think it's worse. Because at least in the 80s, you could say, well, I don't, I don't believe in your God. I don't believe in your hell. I don't believe in that. But with this, you don't have that choice. You can't just say, I don't believe in that. I mean, you can try, but then your life can be ruined just for saying you don't believe in it.
How is that progress? How is that good? How does that propel society in a positive uh, direction? How? How does that help anything? We were going down a very decent trajectory. In the 1990s, we were headed in a good direction. Individualism was still important. Individualism was still an important ideology coming from the left. But now you can't be, you can't push individualism anymore. It's considered right wing, and anything right wing is considered bigoted, is considered, you know, a racist, sexist, homophobic, fascist, misogynistic. You can't force people to change. You can, yeah, you can ruin their lives unless they pretend. But then that's all it is. It's people pretending. Do you think we should be living in, in a pretend society where nobody actually says how they really feel? Is that the kind of society we want to live in? Demolition man reality? Is that what we want? I don't like where things have been headed. I don't know where things are going to go in the future. I don't know how much worse these problems are going to get. I just don't know. Maybe we'll have to experience just how awful things get when we allow this kind of thing to take over. In order to say... Yeah, that was a fucked up period in, in the United States and other Western industrialized countries. Maybe we'll just have to experience how bad it can get in order for everyone, for most people to say, yeah, this isn't so great. I see so many people buying into these notions. People that just a few years ago were reasonable. And now they're like, no, you you must believe in, in this, I don't know what you call it. You must believe in this critical, these critical theories. You must buy into these ideologies, or you're terrible. Watching so many people convert from rationality and logic to this, I don't know what the fuck you call it. It scares me. So, let me repeat, because some people just don't seem to get it. I am a 90s liberal. I am very, very much on the left. I believe in some things that are further on the left than most people who even call themselves Democrats. But I do not buy into this new way that this ideology that we're supposed to fill our brains with a bunch of crap in order to be good people. Fill our brains with the worry of, oh, am I going to offend someone? Now, the funny thing about it is, um, you're certainly, with that kind of mindset, you're certainly not worried about offending people that are on the right or offending people who don't think the same way. You know, with that kind of mindset, it's like, well, fuck people who don't think the same way.
What happened to the celebration of diversity? This new diversity is a sham. You cannot force the whole country to convert to far left thinking. You can't. Again, you can make people, you can force people to pretend that they do. But do we want to live in a demolition man reality? Is that what you want? Is that your goal? It's sick to me. It's sick. And not the good definition of sick, like, you know, the word bad in the, nine, in the 1980s. It's twisted. We shouldn't have to convert. We shouldn't have to pretend that we've converted. Let people be who they are. Promote individualism. Promote fixing the problems in our society and our government. Let's get rid of the corruption in the police forces. Let's get rid of the corruption in our court systems. Let's get rid of the corruption that is the uh, prisons for profit. Let's make a lot of changes. Let's not let so many people fall through the cracks. Let's take, here's a big one, let's take care of, of the homeless situation. Let's give homeless people places to live. Let's fix uh, the problem with high rent. You know, let's fix the housing problem. Let's fix our attitudes towards homeless people. There's a lot we could be working on. And none of it requires that we convert to this far left uh, 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 group identity is more important than anything else. We don't have to convert to that to fix the problems. We certainly don't have to abolish capitalism to fix the problems. Guess I don't know what more to say. Thanks for watching.